Hello and welcome to another How to Tie Knots video. Today we are going to be looking at the mooring hitch. Which as you can see right here, as you can see by the pole I've set up here, mooring hitch is used to secure a knot around a post. And as the name would imply, it's used very, very often to tie up a boat. As you can see here, I'm pulling on it on the end and it's not coming undone. But one of the best things about the mooring hitch is when it's tied correctly, you can pull on the bitter end and it undo undoes the knot just like that. So if you ever need to leave quickly or undo your boat quickly, it's <clears throat> very, very easy to do. So to tie a mooring hitch, this is what we're going to do. You start by passing the rope around the post that you're going to be hitching it to. And leave yourself plenty of space on the bitter end because you're going to need it later. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a knot, or pardon, making a loop in the bitter end, by passing the line beneath itself. Then, I'm going to give myself a bit more space here. Then what we're going to do is through the loop we've just made, we're going to pull the other end of the rope through and make one loop. Then what we're going to do is using the bitter end, we're going to pull that as in a loop. We're going to make a loop in that and pull it through the loop that we've just made from, this, from the underhand part of the rope. So what we've done is we've made one loop, then made a second loop in the underhand part and pulled that through the first loop, and then making a third loop in the bitter end and pulled that through the second loop. Then we are going to pull it tight, and we've made our mooring hitch. Now that's a very that's a it's kind of an advanced and a difficult knot once you don't know it, so we're going to do that one one more time. Start by passing the rope over our bar, leaving plenty of space. Then we're going to make a loop, taking the bitter end and passing it behind the over part of the rope. Then, and to make this easy, what we're going to do is we're going to reach through our loop and grab the knot, grab the line from underneath and pull that through to make another loop. So now we have our loop from the underhand rope through the first loop we made in our overhand rope. Then what I'm going to do is reach through the underhand loop right here and grab a loop from the bitter end and pull that through. And then tie it up. Now we have our mooring hitch. You can see that just grabbing on to the longer part of the line that's not coming undone. Now this is a more advanced knot, so I am very interested to see uh, uh, anyone who wants to try this one at home and post a video of them doing it or post pictures of them with the finished knot. And remember this is an easy one to get rid of because when you're done, just pull on the loose end and it comes right undone. So that is the mooring hitch. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.